Here we have a production function, q equals 50 times the square root of l times k, and suppose this firm has orders for 1,000 units of output. We've got the price of labor as $5, and the price of capital is $20, and our job is to find the cost-minimizing input combination. Let's start with the tangency condition. So the slope of the isoquant will have to be equal to the slope of the isocost line. In other words, the negative of the marginal rate of technical substitution will equal the negative of the wage over the rental rate of capital, or the marginal product of labor divided by the marginal product of capital is 5 over 20. Going back to my production function, I can find the marginal products, and I can plug in. So I can do a lot of simplifying here. The 50 and the 0.5 is going to cancel out. Uh, since this was a nice Cobb-Douglas, I know that I'm going to end up with a K over L ratio, and the right-hand side simplifies to 1 fourth. I like to solve for one of the variables, and it's usually easiest to do for capital. So K equals 0.25L. This will be one of the equations that we use. The constraint in this case well, total cost is WL plus RK, and that's our ISO cost line. When we're doing the consumer problem, it's kind of like the budget constraint. But in this case, it's actually what we're trying to minimize. It's our objective function. So we have to look for other equations that we have. And in this case, the only other one we have is our production function. So I will substitute in the 1,000 units. Uh, for Q, and then the right-hand side remains the production function. So this will be the second equation that I use. So two equations, two unknowns. I'll go ahead and substitute in K equals 0.25L. I'm bringing the 0.5, that's the exponent on the 0.25L, in on the 0.25 and in on the L. Working through the math, I end up with labor as 40 units and capital as 10 units. So these are the cost minimizing combinations of labor and capital given this particular W and R and that this firm has to produce 1,000 units of output.